The world of Warcraft is one ravaged by, well, war. We can see its mark left across all of Azeroth, especially in a place known as South Shore, located in the old Hillsbrad foothills. But thankfully, through the power of magic, we can rewind the clock to a more peaceful time and use this time to reflect, observe, and relax. Although use this video in a way that you find the most helpful. We'll be walking through the town as I draw your attention to different details in the environment. This may seem simple, but may actually help reduce stress and build that attention muscle, as studies have shown that drawing our focus to these neutral stimuli can help relax. So join me as we walk through South Shore in a more peaceful time. Let's start by noticing the night sky. Noticing the moon, the mist, the stars, as well as the buildings with their flickering lights. Let's take a closer look in the town hall. As we approach, we can see someone else going on their own walk. This is something that we all can do, no matter where we are. As we walk into the town hall, we can see a few people bickering away. These people can represent our thoughts in that they take up space, they can draw our focus in. Instead, shift your focus to something else in the environment. As we go into this room, notice the books on the table, as well as some of the books stacked away and the varying ways they've been arranged. You might also notice the people bickering away, although shift your focus to the books. As we go into the next room, you may notice the different appearances of the people here. Take note of these things. Noticing the color of their armor, the appearance of it, any thoughts around their allegiance or their backgrounds. What brought them here? Just notice these thoughts as you observe. As we leave the hall, just notice what sounds capture your attention. The sound of dog barking in the distance, the sound of crickets, the sound of feet as they walk through the brush, as well as on top of stones in the path. As we enter into the tavern, just notice how we're greeted by a warm light and people having a more pleasant conversation. Just notice what your eye shifts to and observe this pleasant scene. And as we look to the left, we can see a roaring fireplace, as well as quite an intense gathering. As we move on, we can see a series of barrels stacked up, likely filled with varying liquids. Just notice the curious pattern of the wood as well as the appearance of the corks. Then as we look to our left, we see some men dressed in curious clothing. You may notice thoughts come to mind, are these pirates, are these sailors? Regardless, we may not have the answer, but we can see that they're enjoying their drink and the company of the inn. As we go into the next room, we see a chef with a rather curious approach to preparing meat. 
just notice his swing, the appearance of his blade, and how effective he is in preparing that meat. shift our gaze to the table before us, we can see these mighty followers of the light cleansing the living embodiment of shadow. Some of you may know the significance of this event. Regardless, let's observe and see where our heart is. And if our mind wanders, gently guide it back to the scene. We can also shift our attention to just looking at the tavern as a whole, not focusing on one particular aspect of it, but instead everything before us. Now as we are closer we can see a few details that we might have missed from a different angle. See what catches your eye. And as we continue our journey up the stairs we see a variety of different rooms. On the left we have a picture. This appears to be of a place known as Thousand Needles. If you've been there, just notice any thoughts that come to mind, any memories or feelings associated with this place. Then if we look to the next room, we can see what looks like a small boy carrying a magical hammer. As we go into the room with the mages, just notice how they seem to be so engrossed in what they're doing. And simply how their appearances might differ. And then to the right we can see a room with two beds, as well as a similar picture. Just take note of the scene before you, focusing on the different details. And as we return to the room of the mages, we can look a little bit closer and notice the unique details in the book. It appears to be a skull of some kind. Just take note of the appearance of this book. As we leave the tavern, just allow yourself to catch any things you might have missed on your way in. And outside we can see the different colored trees as well as the warm glow of fires coming from within people's houses. Let's approach one and see what it's like inside. We can see someone here contemplating the fire. It may not feel like it, but this is a perfect example of being mindfully aware. Noticing the variance of the flame, the sounds it gives off, as well as the heat, as well as any memories that come with it. 
Our mind can become distracted by thoughts and away from the fire. I just notice when that happens. I'm going back to the fire. As we go out into the night again, we can notice other houses. Let's visit another home. As we approach it, we can see a flower bed outside, as well as a variety of other devices. Inside, we can see some more activity, people preparing different alchemical, potentially even dangerous devices. Just take note of these things and any unique qualities they might have. As we step out, we can see some villagers just walking through the town, as if it's just another night for them. Take in the serenity of that scene. Now as we visit our final building, this appears to be a much larger abode. It seems to be home to a variety of other people. There's a wide range of different types of wood used in this place. Take notice of these different types. Looking at the wall, to the ceiling, the roof, the tables, the stools, and even the bookshelf. Just notice what stands out for you. Allow your eye to take in all those different details. As we step into the bedroom, there appears to be an interesting exchange happening here. Your mind might wonder to the varying possibilities. What caused this? What are they discussing? But recognizing that we may not ever know. And this can be uncomfortable. Just notice that uncomfort, sit with it, and as we go along, check in with yourself if it's still there. As we shift outside, we can see that the people have been very busy whilst we've been indoors setting up jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. So fast, in fact, it's almost as if these clips might have been recorded separately. Just notice that thought and shift your focus back to the decorations in the town. As we travel towards the lake, notice the glow of the lantern as well as the appearance of the moon and its horizon. We also have a pair of people staring off into the distance, simply observing nature as a whole. These people aren't too different from us. Taking these moments to step back and just observe can really help us draw our attention in on these more neutral aspects of our environment and away from stressful and unhelpful thoughts. Thank you for joining us on this walk today. If you have any suggestions for future walks or other videos, please post a comment below as I do read all of them. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. And we look forward to seeing you next time. As always, stay formatted.